Well, the North Park Theater has been around since the 1920s, but when Dipson Theaters announced it was backing away from the property, the venue's fate was up in the air. And now, one restaurateur is helping the current owner keep this theater in business. News 4's Anthony Kanji tells us how. The North Park Theater on Hurl Avenue opened in 1921. But its current tenant, Dipson Theaters, announced they were planning to vacate the nearly 100 year old theater, leaving many wondering what would happen to the staple of the neighborhood. Everybody that lives around here now went to matinees here. It's a wonderful art theater, if not the best art theater in the city of Buffalo. Buffalo attorney Tom Iuwanu has owned the building for several years. He says inside all the equipment is original. The hallways feature gorgeous oil paintings, and the mural inside was painted by renowned artist Raphael Beck. Dipson plans to leave the North Park on June 6th, but Iuanu will be partnering with Mike Cristiano from Left Bank to revitalize the North Buffalo icon. We will restore this theater to the beautiful place that it should be, and it'll once again be the Jewel of Hurdle Avenue. The minute Dipson is out of here, we will be starting work on this theater. We'll get this marquee properly done. We'll get the rust off it. We'll get that stained glass window exposed. And we're going to have professional people come in and tell us how to do it right. Iwanu says Dipson is pulling out due to the cost of maintaining and upgrading the building. The projector and new seats would each cost over $100,000. The North Park is the oldest running theater of the former Shays Theater chain in the country. It was once owned by Michael Shea himself. It is also where the 1984 film The Natural, starring Robert Redford, held its world premiere. Now, no timetable has been announced for North Park's reopening, but Iwanu says it will be done. I've always been in love with it. The opportunity's presented itself, and it's something, again, it's just sitting here, it's beautiful, and we're going to make it happen. Anthony Kanji, News 4.